Hello, hello, people. It's Thornip again here, and uh, just finishing up with a little bit of XP at the base. Uh, cleaned it out already, so I'm just going to head on up and ignore the skeleton spawning. <laughs> Done a few things with the base, you know, all that. Uh, I went through and did a lot. I pretty much done a lot in the last... Shoot, in the last two nights, I've done more in Minecraft right now than I've done in the last two weeks. <laughs> it's just scary. Mining, mostly. Did a little work out here. I've removed a lot of the torches. There's still a few... Um, I gotta double-check light counts for here, see if I don't need another little light over here. I had something I had a skeleton spawn over here the other day, so... We'll see if that happens, and... Slowly improving things. I had a light out here because uh, I needed some light here. I had a creeper spawn, which was nice until he blew up the corner of my nice little construction. Yeah. I got the little lights here and along the bottom, which uh, I like. I got the airspace in there so that the uh, light seems a little more even, you know? Same with along the fence. A uh, couple spaces on the side of it. And uh, spaced it out so it works out pretty good. Up here, I've removed all the torches. Uh, I'm still experimenting. I did have a skeleton spawn over here somewhere, so I ended up moving this one just up from here, uh, up from the corner here, up to here. See if that helps it. I think it's because this light here is behind a tree. I may have taken the tree out and moving it, and that might fix things. But uh, until then, you know, I got little pot lights all along the fences, uh, little bits here and there. So it goes. Uh, beyond that, not much else out here. Uh, a few other things I've been messing about with. I got the pot lights out here now too. I've, for now, I'm leaving the torches on the top here because I'm experimenting with this. It's another thought I had. Just put the uh, glowstone here, but uh, the pattern doesn't really line up. If the icons would line up a little bit more with the cobble, I'd be happy with it. But they don't. Hmm. So. It's not too bad. I mean, and the tower, well, the tower looks really nice at night. Cause plus, I have my brightness turned up quite a bit, so it's doesn't help much. Not much else has changed. I've had a creeper blow up my door down there as well, which uh, was fun. Just staying up at night just to see uh, how my lighting is going, you know. Mm. Cake. In any case, uh, I'll quickly hit my bed here because I'm saved over at the at the sand farm. There we go. Nope, did a whole bunch of sand mining, and on my way back, I decided, uh, oh, I'll just make my way back, no big deal, and I hit a pig. It wouldn't seem too much, right? You know, flow on out over here. Oh, hello, Mr. Creeper. Wouldn't seem like much, but uh, yeah, creepers are always the bane. Done. So I was coming over here. You can't see much because the uh, I'm still tweaking. I I I went from HD Patcher to Optifine to see if it would help out a bit and. The fog effect still takes a bit to get used to. But everything else runs pretty well. So I was in a boat, traveling along here, and all of a sudden I figured, oh, there's a pig in the water. But the pig died instantly. The boat survived. The pig died too. See, so that was raw pork chops there. So that took me a few minutes to run all the way back, get down in there, and find all my stuff along the ledge. And it drops right off there. It's quite deep, so... Uh, I was like I found a bucket rather quickly and used the uh, bucket effect to keep myself from drowning. Not so happy about that. Didn't have a lot of XP left on me, so I, that wasn't a big deal. I did lose, I think, my axe. No, I got my axe. I lost a couple things. I don't know what I lost. I uh, kept the sword, which I would have been happy to lose because uh, I have that one. <laughs> Just little sword waiting for me to, when I run out of my current diamond sword. I'll upgrade. And that should be really nice to attack things with. Food, I've been going through like crazy. 
but that happens. Uh, other thing here, I put some wool behind the chest. Um, Etho inspired, definitely Etho inspired. Threw it some more redstone. I've been got so much of it. Just been collecting the ore, and I got more than what I need for the project anyway, so it's fine. And that uh, not much else here, but uh, I'll show you that in a sec. I, I, as I mentioned, I got up to like 52 for an enchant, and I put it on my pick. And we'll we'll go to that in a sec. Like I'll show you the ch another change I made here is the cha enchanting room. See here a little wooden plate, and there's no bookshelves here, well, except for the decorative one above me. So I step on this, these two pistons pop up, and ignore the graphical glitch, that's just optifine. And that allows me to go in here and get really low level chance, very easily. So I can just go in here and very quickly pop on a few low level enchants for my shovels, which uh, I like efficiency, I found level 3 tends to be a pretty decent way to get efficiency on shovels. Save that one for near the end of the run. But, you know, it works out quite well. I want higher level enchants, so I have a level 20 enchant. Pop this up and back up a bit. And go and get level 20 enchants. If I want full enchants, pop open all three. Step back one, I can still access the interface. Full level enchants. Just a minor tweak. But, you know, it makes it so much faster, a little more automated. We'll do the nether here after. Uh, potions, uh, ingredients are easy to get. Nether wart, oh, I've stopped look I've stopped using my nether wart farm. It's down there, it's still there. Whenever I'm in there, they'll grow. But if I run low, I'll go get more. Potions, not much has changed in here. Most of my fire resist potions are actually sitting in a chest in the nether right now for my next project in that. I used a few more potions of speed and all that. Uh, on that, nothing else has happened. Uh, these, if I find a sp if I find a spider farm, and decide to uh, harvest it up, like build a spider farm, I'll use those. For now, not so lucky. Okay. Uh, what else is gonna do? So, level fifty enchant. Never got one enchanted. I put a level forty seven on something though. On a new pick, which I've got. Fortune three. Yes, sir. I have fortune now. Which means, this little thing sitting over here, my little 27 diamonds, is about to get used. Been waiting to do this for a while, just to see how much diamond I can get out of it. Yeah. Three, four, through three. Oh yeah. I'm not even through all of them. I already got 27. <gasps> oh, it's easily doubling everything. Check this. Let's see. So if you get Silk Touch first, oh, 54 diamond from that. Unbelievable. 54 diamond out of 27, roughly doubled. Oh. Diamonds? I has diamonds. <laughs> and for that reason, that pick is staying right here <laughs> and not being carried with me. And it will last forever, honestly. My Silk Touch pick is still down in my mind, which is where it's going to stay. When I need to use it, it's there. Coal, slimes. Oh, I got too much slime. Six full stacks here. Another full stack of slime in here. I'm not messing with my slime form. Definitely not messing with the slime farm anymore. I think I'll have to go back in there and put half slabs down so they don't spawn. Hmm. So, the other big changes would be the nether. And it's it's in preparation. Because I, I want to build a blaze farm. So I've been messing up a bit. This room, expand this room, since it's my primary... I was tired of jumping up and coming right up against a wall here, so I moved it back. And I moved it back, I got rid of the spiral staircase, which I never liked anyways. 
over here you can see I've done a lot more digging so I got th almost three full chests through full and we pop this quickly speed down this way this here it's one of those tunnels I had planned on setting up for getting down to my into the little uh, how do I put it? down to the blaze spawner which would have started down here but if we just take a step down here I run to a slight problem it's way up and uh, yeah not gonna be happen so I mean I'll continue out this direction for uh, one of the three directions I'm going to go for uh, Season 3. But beyond that, not going to happen. Season 3 is pretty much set up down there. Uh, I've got, got the hallway completely done all the way out to the nether portal I've set up out there, but I haven't opened it. It's, the reason I don't want to open it is I want to put add-ons on. Uh, namely, I'm looking at Buildcraft and Red Power. Both interesting add-ons. Something I've been... Something to look into, you know. So, I mean, down that way, goes down to the portal. This way, I'm pretty certain that wa there's water that way. And I'm probably fairly certain there's water this way now. I haven't looked. I mean, there, there's add-ons, uh, things you can go on and... Uh, look at all this mess, but... It's not worth it my time. I mean, I want to be surprised. I want to go in there and say, oh, wow, this is amazing. You know. So, instead, I've done this. This will uh, eventually go to the Blaze Farm. Just a little step off of it. And there's a switch back there, so once I start using the other portal as the main base, I can get back here quite easily. And this here is roughly above where my spawner is. That it's uh, 87 and 138. So it's over. He it's, it's over there somewhere. Just kitty corner here. But essentially, I put this up here. I spanned out in all directions, and then I'll dig up from down there up to here, and then somehow pretty this up so it's, it looks nice. And we'll go from there. Hmm. So that will be the uh, the blaze spawner when I get it, which I'll show you. Oh, I should replace the pants. <laughs> uh, just getting distracted. So much to do, so little time. So there's the switch. I can just switch that track so it heads the other direction. Very simple wiring for that. So we'll probably end down below. Get the last bottle with me. So here, this has changed a bit too. And I've actually died on that edge once. So down here I've made it a lot smaller since the no need for a portal anymore. So I made a smaller room. Pretty it up so I have this nice wide open look in that. Plenty of nether wart, almost ready to harvest already. It's like, oh, so much nether wart. If you look over here, I've demolished the structure quite a bit, and then you look here and you go, where's the door? Well, yeah. <laughs> nice city hidden. I want a door I can shut from the inside and outside, so it's just a, uh, it's just your standard lock pretty much. And then this edge here just hides it nicely, you know? Put this on the top, and eh, I'm, I'm uncertain about that. I might put bring this out down, and then put red, this uh, other stone on top of it. Another rack. But as you can see, I've removed a large chunk of it. I mean, this is going to be gone here in no time flat, and I'm going to use up a lot more of this stuff later. Over here, I've made a nice secure entranceway, where as secure as I can. 
So I've got to block this off. Not really required. This just heads up the stairs here and then right out where I came up from before, right here. And we'll just do. Come on. I had a video where I was laying all this out, but it didn't turn out so well. And after thinking about it, I thought, well, I'll put the blaze farm one where I need. Dead ends, dead ends. Got myself turned around. <laughs> they all look identical, honestly. So this blaze farm, I'm probably going to uh, shut down. As you see, that uh, that cobblestone up there is the original thought I had for getting down here. It didn't work out. But you see, I have all this other here. It goes pretty much up to the ceiling. So, I mean, I can dig up to it and it will still work out. And this is the blaze farm down here, which I'll be, I'll be I'm turning into a, a farming thing. But mm, that's for another video. Uh, probably make that video next here. <laughs> Me shutting down the thing and uh, it was so much fun. I'm not really, I'm not really starting it up, Blaze Farmer, for the XP. I mean, it's going to be better than the Skeleton Farm, which I will probably just shut down permanently. Tends to lag out the game if I'm in there too long. But it's for the fuel. I mean, Blaze Rods are so nice for fuel. They're about 50% better than coal. So when you get to, to do a stack, you need uh, need six blaze rods versus eight coal. And it says each one generally drops one, but it's about 70% drop rate on them. I'll have like stacks of them in no time. So that much I don't like. I'll probably turn it to fancy. There's a setting in opt opti Optimine that allows me to fix that, but uh, for now, I'm going to leave it here, and uh, this has been Thornup, you know, have a great night or day, and remember, it's a Minecraft world up there.